If we see something like this, we're going to expand the bracket at the back first, which means that we're going to keep whatever the x in front first, and then start with expanding the bracket. x times x, we have x squared. x times 3, we have 3x. Negative 2 times x, we have negative 2x. Negative 2 times 3, we have negative 6. And everything in respect to x. And now we continue with the integrations of x. And we're going to simplify whatever inside. 3x minus 2x is just 1x. So that's why we have x squared plus 1x minus 6. And everything is integrating with respect to x. And now we can just expand our x into the bracket. x times x squared, it becomes x cubed x times x, we have x squared. x times negative 6, we have negative 6x. With respect to x. And now we can just start our integrations. The power increased by 1, divided by the new power, plus same thing. 2 plus 1 is 3, divided by 3. Minus 1 plus 1 is 2. And this is indefinite, we're going to plus c. And now we can just simplify. Just remember one thing, whenever we have something like a over 4, we can change to become 1 over 4 times a, which is just 1 over 4a. So here, we're going to have something like 1 over 4 x power of 4 plus 1 over 3 x power of 3 minus 6 divided by 2 is 3 x squared plus c and we are done for these questions. If we see something in bracket raised to the power of something, we're going to use the method of substitutions. We're going to use u to substitute whatever inside the bracket. But after you substitute someone, we're going to pay respect to whatever that we are integrating. So it means that we're going to differentiate respect to x. So if we differentiate it, we have just 2. And now we are looking for what is dx. So we can say that dx, du, is equal to the dx go over there, become 2 dx, and then we divide both sides by 2, we have du over 2 is dx. So now we come to a conclusion that dx is eventually du over 2, and now we are good to go. So we say that it's the integrations of, since we have a constant on top, we can take the constant out first, and then integrate with respect to x. So the one at the bottoms, we already substitute by u, so u power of 3. But what is our dx? It's basically just du over 2. And now we can just keep on continue. But this one looks ugly, so we got to bring it out. So how to bring it out is, we say that it's 2 over 2 because it's at the denominators. And then we just do it at the usuals. And whatever we have the power at the bottoms, we got to bring it up before we integrate. So just remember, 1 over x power of n is same as x power of negative n. So now we bring it up, u power of 3 become u power of negative 3. And I'm going to integrate with respect to u. And now we are almost done. 2 divided by 2 is just 1. So u power of negative 3 increased by 1. u power of negative 3 increased by 1 is become negative 2 divided by negative 2 plus c. Why plus c? Because it's an indefinite integrals. But as we know, if we have power of negative, it means that you are located at the another side. So that's why we have negative 1 over 2 u power of square plus c. It means that if you have something like this, x power of negative n, you're supposed to be something like this, 1 over x power of n. So this is just indices. But don't forget your final answer is going to change back to become x. So you can say that it becomes negative 1 over 2. What is my u? It's just 2x minus 3 power of 2 plus c and we are done. Question number 2, they already give us the answer for our integrations, which is this one. But remember, if they give us the answer, we don't trust them. We're going to do it ourselves. So we're going to integrate. Since there is a 2 on top, it's a constant. We will bring it out first. Just like just now, 1 over 3x minus 2 power of n. But this time, we're not going to do the uh, substitutions. We are using the direct method. So we bring it up first, like just now. Two integrations of 3x minus 2 power of negative n to the respect to x. 
and now we can start to integrate. So we set the two, and the power increased by one. So we're going to be three x minus two, negative n plus one, divided by the new power, which is negative n plus one. But since there is a expression inside of the bracket, we're going to differentiate it as well. So it become three. Just remember, if you have something inside expressions, after integrating like usual, we're going to differentiate whatever inside and then divide it by the answer. For this case, it's just three. And then we just say plus C because it's an indefinite. So now we are almost done. We already done the integrations, but can you realize that the answer, they give us just three X minus two power of negative two is the one at the back and in front is just A. So we're going to make this one same as whatever they've given to us. So what we're going to do is like this. We're going to detach everything away. Means I just want to keep whatever on top here. And whatever is not related, we put it out. So what I put it out is like this. 2 over negative n plus 1 times 3. We're going to pull it out. And then whatever on top just now, 3x minus 2 will be alone at the back. n plus 1, like this, and then plus c. And now we can just do the comparing. So how do we compare is, can you see that? The one at the back, 3x minus 2 to the power of what? Is same as the term here. So then we can say that negative n plus 1 must be same as negative 2. So we can say that negative n plus 1 must be same as negative 2. Then negative n must be Bring plus 1 go there, become minus 1, become minus 3. So n must be equivalent to 3. So we settle what is n. Now we are looking to find what is our a. So a is in front of whatever 3x minus 2. So it means that basically whatever in front here is a. So now we can just say that a must be same as 2 over, what is negative n plus 1? So negative n is just negative 3 plus 1 times 3. So a must be same as 2 over negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So if we simplify it, we have a equal to negative 1 over 3 and we are done. So we can just basically say that, let me clean up everything first. So we know our n is just equal to 3. Our a is just equal to negative 1 over 3. Then we're going to say that whatever the integrations of 2 of the 1 over 3x minus 2 power of n is 3 dx, we have the answer of negative 1 over 3, 3x minus 2 power of negative 2 plus c. So this is what we have after we've done question A. And then they've asked us to find the value of these integrations. But now they give us the limit. So now they say that we're going to find whatever. You see the add is a constant. Take it out first. Integration from 1 to 3. 1 over 3x minus 2 to the power of n. Since they ask us to use the n that we obtain, which is 3, dx. So how do we do? Do we need to do another round of integrations? No. We can just comparing. Can we see that 1 over 3x minus 2 half 3 is same as this one? But this is 2 and this is add. Means that this is 4 times larger. So it means that the answer was, is also going to be 4 times larger. So the answer is going to be negative 4 over 3 bracket 3x minus 2 power of negative 2. And since this is a definite integral, there's no plus c. But instead, we're going to use upper limit minus the lower limit, which is 1 to 3. Now, we're going to substitute, but don't forget, power of negative 2 means that it's located at denominators. So, we're going to have something like this, negative 4 over 3, 3x minus 2, power of 2, and whatever is the upper limit minus the lower limit. So, now we have a little bit more spaces. So substitute the upper limit first. So now we have negative 4 
over 3 3 times 3 minus 2 power of 2 this is for upper limit minus the lower limit is going to be negative 4 over 3 3 times 1 minus 2 square and after that we just compute so 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2 is 7 7 square is 49 so it's like negative 4 over 3 times 49 minus 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 again plus 4 over 3 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2 is 1 square and last you just compute into the calculators you will have the answer like 64 over 49 and we are done hey if you have any questions or like to see any kind of video do leave your comments below and let me know if you want to support us so that we could make more video like this the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel see you in the next video